some poultry men are firm believers in what is known as the free range method. And these fine specimens have the wide spaces of the orchard for their playground. But here is a typical poultry farm set in the ideal surroundings of the Australian countryside where the intensive system is practiced. The housing of the birds is carried out under very elaborate hygienic conditions. This is the home of thousands of hens, a veritable hive of industry. Let us look into this more closely. To produce good eggs, pure wholesome food must be provided, and our poultry farmer has learnt the value of the lucerne patch and to include it in beneficial quantities in the ration. We are now on a larger poultry farm, which has its own milling plant. This excellent quality grain will soon be converted to the finest bran and pollard. It is early morn in the mixing room, and the chef is preparing the mash breakfast. The cereals, the meat meal, the green stuff, and the other good things which, when mixed in this huge drum, make the morning meal so popular with our feathered friends. Wheat and crushed maize will be on the menu in the afternoon. The hen can justly be regarded as a very efficient, self-contained manufacturing machine. Her business in life is to lay eggs, and when man concentrates on bringing her production to the highest point of perfection, he must ensure that she is not stinted in the essentials which she requires for her work. Australia is one of the great granaries of the world, and from her sun-kissed fields, the hen is liberally supplied with those necessaries which produce the finest eggs. What a peaceful scene. But just wait until those troughs are filled. Cleanliness is the poultry farmer's watchword. Clean, healthy fowls enjoy clean nests, so an abundance of sweet straw must be always on hand, the perches must be regularly disinfected, and above all, the water supply must be fresh and plentiful. The farmer is amply rewarded for his attention to these details. How these birds are reveling in the warm sunshine. Here is the lady herself, every day contributing more and more to the wealth of Australia. One of the great secrets in marketing eggs is to collect them regularly from the nest. On a large farm, this is quite a big job, but see how in this case it is made very simple and you will notice the birds are disturbed as little as possible. These splendid eggs from healthy, happy hens now commence the first steps of their long journey to market. The excellent reputation for quality which Australian eggs have acquired has been built up on the foundations of care in breeding, hygienic housing, and in the scientific feeding of the birds. This is portion of the afternoon's collection on a large Australian poultry farm, the home of over 100,000 laying birds. What a chance for an election. There is no time to be lost, and these busy young people are giving the eggs a quick preliminary examination before they are sent to the cool stores. There, they will be graded and packed for export under Commonwealth Government supervision. In the cool stores, the first operation is to candle the eggs. That is, they are held up before a brilliant light which immediately reveals any internal defects. You ladies could try this yourself sometimes, if you wished, to test your purchases. Having been tested for quality, the eggs are now graded for weight. This ingenious machine of British manufacture, by the way, automatically weighs and sorts the eggs. 
They must be packed in certain grades, each grade having its maximum and minimum weight requirement. This ensures an evenness in size which is very important to the buyer and in conformity with British marketing requirements, every export egg is stamped with the word Australia. Even though the grading and packing is carried out under official supervision, the cases are being continuously check tested by government inspectors before shipment. Australian eggs are shipped in fast steamers two or three days after they are laid. They are not frozen or chemically treated, but kept at just that right temperature, which science and patient research have discovered keeps good eggs in perfect condition. You have seen how a very high standard for export is maintained for eggs in shells. And because of this, the small size eggs and eggs with weak shells are put aside to be pulped. Their internal quality is equal to the others in every respect. They are first candled and those eggs with internal defects are rejected. This work is also done under strict government supervision. The eggs passing to another room on a conveyor belt are individually hand broken. But here again, there is a further check. No effort is spared to make sure that the pulp will be of the highest quality. Nope, you see that one won't do. And even the breaking dish must be sent along for cleansing. Tipped from the breaking pans into the troughs at the side of the table, they flow into this glass covered container. The pulp is then forced through a series of fine strainers to the top of this cooler. This process, whilst thoroughly emulsifying the pulp, also prevents particles of egg shell finding their way into the finished product. Passing down over the coils, the temperature of the pulp is greatly reduced and already very cold when poured into the containers. On a scale of very fine balance, the weight of the container is assured and it is now ready for the freezer, where it will remain until its contents are frozen into one solid block. This freezing process is very important because failure to freeze the pulp right through would spoil the whole of the work already done and the pulp would not open up in good condition at its journey's end. Every nook and cranny of the pulping chamber is scalded and then thoroughly dried with steam. This is done not once, but several times during the day. The pulp, now thoroughly frozen, is withdrawn from the tank. The containers are electrically soldered and the government inspection stamp is applied. This is the hallmark of quality and the consumers guarantee that the contents are pure and wholesome. The containers are now placed into insulated cartons. Then the approved for export stamp is impressed. You can see the stamp in the lower left hand corner. Egg pulp is used in large quantities by cake manufacturers and pastry cooks. Here you see a solid block sawn in half proving the efficiency of the freezing process. Steady now, steady. There are 30 dozen eggs in each of those cases. And after all the trouble that has been taken with them, please don't break any of them now. Remember, they are an empire product, and when it's springtime in Australia, it is autumn in Great Britain. Australian eggs may be fried, boiled, or poached, and they will do all the other things that even the most exacting chef requires. In fact, I think you will agree that they are... Well, that's just what I was going to say. Something to crow about. <laughs>